Hi guys, welcome back to Beautifully Bookish Bethany where I have new videos every week about books and the geeky mom lifestyle. Subscribe for more bookish videos and hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified every time I release a new video. In today's video, I'm gonna take you on a tour of my very large physical TBR. Okay, so this is something that I've gotten some requests for. It's something that I've sort of put off partly because I'm a little nervous to find out exactly how many books I own on my physical TBR because I know it's a lot and partly just because it could be time consuming. But but it seems like a good time. We're home in quarantine. Uh, so let's do this. I will say this. I'm not going to do the kind of TBR tour where I like pull every book face out and show it to you because that is like way more time and energy than I have with little children. What I am going to do though is go shelf by shelf. We're going to count how many unread books I have on my different shelves and I'll show you where I keep different parts of my TBR. We'll tally them up and I'll probably have some running commentary on some of the books that you are seeing. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. We are going to start with the shelf right behind me that you see in my videos because I do have some unread books here. All right, so we are starting with this bookshelf, which you guys see in my videos, and we're going to start on this shelf. So a lot of these are kind of all-time favorites or special editions. I know it's a little cluttered with all my stuff and merch, but on this shelf there's only two books that I have not yet read, and they are... Iron Gold and Dark Age by Pierce Brown. I've read the first three books in the Red Rising Saga. Um, for the shelf, it is two unread books. The next shelf down is where I put my favorites of the year of the last two years and then my favorites of the current year. So these obviously I have read all of. The next shelf down is where I keep my Book of the Month Club books and my Tor.com books. So I have read a lot of my Book of the Month Club books and um, there they are. From here forward are the ones that I have not yet read, which makes nine of them. So I've got nine Book of the Month Club books on this shelf, and then these are the Tor.com books that I have not yet read and um, really want to. I love Tor.com, and that is seven. So for this shelf, we have a total of 16 unread books. The next shelf down is mostly classics, and romance that I have read. I will show you later where I keep all my unread romance, but this is all like romance that I've read and I'm keeping on my shelves. In terms of the classics, most of these I have read already, but there are some that I've not. I have not read Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte, and I have actually not read any of these three, and I have not read this, which is not a classic, um, but looks like one. So for this shelf, we have five unread books. And then on the bottom shelf, over in this corner, I have more romance that I have already read. And then here I have arcs and graphic novels. These are future arcs that I've not yet read that aren't on my upcoming TBR shelf, which I will show you later. These are arcs that are already published that I have not gotten around to reading. And then I've got graphic novels. Most of them are arcs, but not all of them. And I will pull this out so you can see uh, the other ones. There's some more. Okay, so let me do a quick count and I'll let you know how many unread books we have on this shelf. It's going to be a lot. All right, and the final count for this shelf is 39 unread books. And most of those are arcs or advanced reader copies. So total count for this bookshelf is 62 unread books. Moving on, I'm going to show you where I keep my unread romance. All right, guys, so this is where I keep all of my unread romances. There are a lot of them. I've been getting a lot into this genre. Um, so here in the middle, you have all my hardcover and trade paperback romances. Then I have historicals more historicals, kind of mostly grouped by author. Back here we've got some paranormal and like fantasy romance, even more historicals, and some contemporaries. If you can't tell, I tend to pick up historicals because I really find them cozy and fun to read. And the final number for these shelves is 68. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I have been reading a lot of romance though, and I get a lot of stuff sent to me by Harlequin from different events, and then I buy stuff from authors I like. So 68 
on my romance shelf. All right, next you're gonna get to see where I keep books for hauls and for my TBR. So up on top, this is where I stack books that I have finished in the current month. So as of right now, these are books that I have finished reading. And then this is my TBR for the month, um, like my active TBR uh, tentatively. Moving down, these are books for a future book haul. I'll kind of stack them here and then when this gets full, I will film a book haul. And then down here are books that have been on TBRs in the past. These are all arcs that I still want to get to if I can relatively soon but they have kind of gotten pushed to the side for one reason or another. So in total, this shelf currently has 38 unread books. I did a book haul pretty recently, so not too many in there. And I'm actually in the middle of one of those books at the moment in my ARC copy. Okay, we are moving on to the living room and this is where things are gonna get a little wild, guys. Um, behind me, I have two large bookshelves and this bookshelf here is primarily unread books and they are like double stacked and it's a lot. So let's do this. Okay, so this bookshelf here is mostly read books, not entirely. There are exceptions. So we're going to go through it shelf by shelf and look at the ones I have not actually read. This one, the top shelf is mostly read books, but beyond that, the majority of these, other than a lot of my V.E. Schwab books, which you can see right there, are all unread. So this is going to be fun. Here we go. All right, let's start on the top shelf of this. I do have some books that I have not yet read. In this case, sometimes I'm putting books together because they're by the same author or they're in the same series. I've not read Raven Cry. I have not read the last two books in this series. Um, back here, I have not yet read The Dragon Republic. I have also not yet read Holy Sister. Okay. Moving on, I've got Orbit books in this area. Um, so my husband is actually reading the Witcher books. I do eventually want to read them as well. I have only read The Last Wish, so the rest of these for me are unread. Back here I've got a lot of N.K. Jemisin's work. I have read much of it, but I have not read The Killing Moon. I have not read The Kingdom of Gods. So in total for this top shelf, I have 13 unread books. All right, moving on to shelf two, I have a lot of Cassandra Clare, which I have pretty much read. Ghosts of the Shadow Market, there are like two of the short stories that I haven't read, but I'm just gonna call that read because it basically is. Ancient Magus Bride, I have not read a lot of these. So I've read volumes one and two. I have not read the rest of the series. I have also not read Night of Cake and Puppets by Lainey Taylor, um, but all the rest of the books on this shelf are read and I do have more Lainey Taylor back behind these front books. So that puts my unread total for this shelf at 10 books, most of which are the manga series. Moving on, most of the books on this shelf are read. Um, back here, I've got Marissa Meyer and some other stuff. I have read everything in this stack here. I have not yet read Wild Beauty, which is one of the only Anna Marie Micklemore books I have not yet read. I have also not yet read Two Dark Reigns, but I've read the rest of that series. I have not yet read Reaper at the Gates. I've read all the Sarah J Mass. I have not yet read Language of Thorns by Leigh Bardugo, and I have not yet read Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. So for this shelf, we've only got five unread books. This shelf, most of these books are also read and you can't see everything because they're double stacked. Here, I have not yet read Ransacker or Gentleman's Guide to Getting Lucky. I have not yet read Children of Virtue and Vengeance, and I have not yet read The Retribution of Mara Dyer or The Becoming of Noah Shaw. I have read everything else on this shelf. Total count of unread books on this shelf is five. The next shelf down is also almost entirely read books. The only ones I have not yet read are Rebel by Marie Lu and As She Ascends by Jody Meadows. My unread count for this shelf is two books. Okay, so this shelf is pretty messy. I'm not going to pull everything out from here. Um, the main things of note that are unread is I have a collection of Robin Hobb books, but I have not read most of these. I have also not yet read Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson or Well of Ascension or Hero of Ages. So we're going to go ahead and call this shelf eight unread books. 
There may be a couple others in the stack behind. I've got a bunch of older mass market sci-fi fantasy paperbacks, um, but most of this is read books. Moving on to my other bookshelf, um, starting at the top where I have read most of these books, there are a few I've not yet read. I have not read Phasma or Star Wars from a Certain Point of View or Last Shot by Daniel Jose Older. The other Star Wars books are not on my TBR. They're actually my husband's. So I'm not going to count those. And then these are other unread books. I have two by Octavia Butler, a Shirley Jackson, an Ad Lamott, and a couple of Roxanne Gay books. Um, oh, and up at the top there, I've got a Joan Didion essay collection. So for the shelf, we're going to call it 10 unread books. Okay, here's where things begin to get a little bit tricky. I have not yet read any of the books stacked in front. So moving those out of the way, um, a lot of these I have read. This is my V.E. Schwab collection. Things I have not yet read from her. I have not yet read uh, the second Steel Prince graphic novel. I have not read Vengeful, and I have not read This Savage Song or Our Dark Duet. I have also not read The Near Witch. I've read all of these books, and these are my Claire Legrand books that I have not yet read. So including the books in the front, my unread count for this shelf is 21 books. Below that, all of these are unread. So we're gonna go shelf by shelf, take a quick look at them, count them up, they're double stacked. So I'm gonna show you, here are the books in the front. These are all of the books in the back. Um, this shelf contains most of my unread middle grade and this is like thrillers and mysteries. The total count front and back for the shelf of unread books is 52. Oh man, guys, it's so, it's so many books. I knew it was gonna be a lot. Um, okay, so here's the next shelf here are all the books in the front that I have not read. And here are the books in the back. Uh, one thing I will say is I have actually read Queen of the Tearling, um, but I just kind of put them together because I kind of want to reread it before I read the rest of the books in the series. But the rest of these are unread books. So my total count of unread books on this shelf is 62. Okay, here are all the unread books in the front of this shelf. And now that I'm looking at it, I really should move these to my romance shelf. Um, I didn't realize I still had more out here, so maybe I will move those over there. Although I wonder, I might have a second copy of this book, so I might be double counting that. So there are the books behind. Total number of unread books for this shelf is 49. And then lastly, we have the bottom. This is more like nonfiction and like spiritual or parenting books, more nonfiction, indie published books, and just some like random stuff. Oh, a lot of this is actually um, uh, translated or like literary fiction or different things and kind of a mishmash. Let me count these. And the total number for this shelf is 48 unread books. Let's tally everything up. All right, so we're back. This was actually pretty interesting for me. I wasn't sure what to expect. I knew it was gonna be a large number, but I didn't know whether to expect like 300 or 700 or like, I don't know, maybe not 700, but I knew it was gonna be a lot of books, but I also know a lot of books come through my hands. I read about 300 books a year at this point, and I regularly unhaul things and donate them or resell them or send them off to friends or other reviewers. So let's go ahead and look at my totals per across the different shelves and then the overall total. I just found this to be really interesting. So on the shelf behind me that you see when I'm filming, I had a total of 62 unread books. On my currently reading shelf, I had 38 unread books. On my romance shelf, I had 68 unread books. On my mostly read large bookshelf, where I had mostly books that I had read, I had 43 unread books. And on my physical TBR shelf that is primarily unread books, I had 242 unread books for a total physical TBR of 453 books. Um, so thoughts on this. It's, you know, like it's about what I expected. Am I freaked out about it? No, 
not as much as I maybe thought I would be, oddly enough, partly because I do read about 300 books in a year. So you figure I own about a year and a half's worth of unread books, if I were not to bring any new ones in, which of course I do. Um, I don't know, like I'm not so bothered by that. I would like to decrease that and I am actively working on it. I frequently am listening to audiobooks to get things off my physical TBR or reading things that have been on my TBR for a while. So I'm aware of what's there and I look through it often enough that I will just like unhaul things that I am no longer interested in. But that's a large number. I know people who freak out if they have more than 50 unread books on their shelves, which I think is pretty interesting. I will say this makes me very happy that I am not purchasing books at the rate that I was previously. This year, most of the books that I'm bringing in are books that I've already read, either as ARCs or from audio that I know I want to add to my collection of read books. I am still purchasing some books that I haven't read yet. Most of them are from authors I know I'm going to love or things that I'm pretty sure are going to be great or books where I just really want to support the author. Um, but in general, like I'm feeling good about my acquisition of books. And it would be really interesting to do this again a year from now and see how that number has changed, hopefully by shifting downwards. So talk to me in the comments down below. Let me know any of your thoughts on this. Was it interesting seeing what is on my TBR? And keep in mind, I because I do unhaul and go through my books regularly, these pretty much are either books that I want to have as part of a collection for an author that I'm collecting from um, and books that I know I'm interested in reading. So did you have any thoughts, anything that surprised you or I don't know. I like I'd be really curious to hear your feedback or if you would like to see more videos related to this. Was this shocking to you or do you watch my channel and my book hauls enough that it didn't surprise you? I'd be curious. Any feedback you guys have. Um, this was interesting to do. So now I'm gonna have to sit on this and think about if I want to do any kind of a project related to this. For now I'm pretty happy just to know what the number is and maybe I'll start keeping track of it. Talk to me in the comments down below. And for your question of the day, tell me about your physical TBR. How big is it? How big do you want it to be? Does it give you anxiety if you have too many books or do you not mind it? Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.